This is the granddaddy of storage. You go, what do we know about storage? Well, we know a hell of a lot about storage because we've been doing it since 1915. So we got a hundred years to learn what works, what doesn't work, and what are the risk factors and uncertainties. And there's a lot of them. We'll talk about that later. So gas storage reservoirs and types. We have depleted oil fields, simple oil and gas fields. Every one of you is familiar with that. Salt formations, easy, and depleted aquifers. This is the one that for CCUS, for compressed air energy storage, for hydrogen storage, this is probably where to go. You're gonna go, they say depleted aquifers, I would say uh, reservoirs that contain water, usually saline water, not fresh water. And we'll talk about a little bit about that, but there are issues with, you can't really put a storage thing in a freshwater aquifer. The Environmental Protection Agency frowns upon that. So we have, for reference, this is the state of Illinois. Chicago's up here. Houston's down here. So now we talk about natural storage fields. Where are they? Well, they're surrounding the state. And we have different types. We have depleted oil fields, which is the majority, salt formations, which only really occur in a few spots. They're great when they work. And depleted aquifers, which is where this is the closest analog we have to all the other type of storage. And the gas storage I'll illustrate seal potential, injection potential, and reservoir storage, actually. 